Well, it was a beautiful light show across the sky in parts of the U.S. Look at these beautiful, vibrant colors. Isn't that amazing? I love the pink. Yeah, That's my favorite. I mean, I, I love the reds and green. They're all amazing. People from Delaware, New York, Maine, and Connecticut all got to see the Northern Lights. I've been having fun on my social page, having people all over the country getting to see these. So cool. A strong geomagnetic storm is responsible for the amazing views. And several areas across SoCal were able to witness it too. I'm so envious. Can't we weren't left out. Yeah, well, I didn't see it at my house, but Rick Montanez is live in San Bernardino where they saw it. I'm so, this, I'm just envious. Yeah, it's an incredible view. Of course, very rare to see it here in Southern California. I just talked with a forecaster at the Space Weather Prediction Center, and he tells me that storm was actually a category four out of five, which is the severe level. And he says that it's actually still passing over us right now. So even though the light show may be over, there is still a lot of solar activity going on and a chance to see the lights again tonight. So that is cool. This is the result, though, that incredible overnight view. Check it out here. Reports of the northern lights visible in many parts of the country, including here in the Inland Empire, in San Bernardino, in Big Bear, a geomagnetic storm, solar wind sent to Earth, traveling at speeds of 2.5 million miles per hour. Space weather scientists say they can forecast these storms, but they really don't know how visible they will be or the impact of the storm until they reach satellites that are a million miles from Earth. Fascinating to think about that large scale. So this is similar to when the northern lights were visible. You'll remember back in May, that storm was a category five extreme level. Solar storms can be damaging to infrastructure, though. So space weather forecasters, like our weather teams, they send out alerts. They warn satellite, power grid operators, and even the White House. Storms like this affect those systems, and if they're not accounted for, they can cause problems. We're already receiving some reports from the activity yesterday, how it caused some uh, precision GPS systems with some aviation entities out there. We're still trying to sort that out. The power grid, we're gonna try to learn from them if they had any impacts from the storm. They most certainly did with the storm in May. Much for them to learn. He actually tells me their forecast was pretty spot on this time. So that's an exciting thing for the scientists. They say tonight's solar storm that will be impacting Earth. You may be able to see it in parts of the country that don't usually see those northern lights, but Southern California may be just too far south for it. Jamie and Christine, and they tell me this solar activity ebbs and flows every 11 years, and we are at solar maximum right now, and that should last Ooh. into next year and possibly Ooh. 2026. So there's a chance to see more of these gorgeous views. Okay, so we still have a shot. Yeah, I just got to drive somewhere. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Looks like it's worth the drive. Yes. Rick, thank you.